Hey, ever heard of this? You can build houses with gas. No joke, you can make concrete out of carbon dioxide. Well, that's what I heard from a startup in Canada. Wait, did I hear that right? Hey, Madison, can your company really make concrete out of thin air? <laughs> we can't actually make concrete out of, out of thin air. What we do is we have a CO2 uh, embedded or enhanced supplementary cementitious materials. It's a very long word, but essentially it's a, an additive that can replace a portion of cement in a concrete mix. Okay, not really concrete out of CO2, but something that replaces a part of the cement. Confused? Let's break it down. Concrete is basically made out of three ingredients, cement, sand, and water. And it seems to me that it is everywhere. Right, Madison? Concrete right now is the second most used substance on earth other than water. Currently, the rate of, of growth in the, the built environment is about equivalent to building one New York City every month. Wow, building houses and infrastructure is a great thing with a little problem. This is the bad guy. The production of cement emits enormous amounts of CO2. 8% of all greenhouse gases are caused by the construction industry. That's huge. Madison says her company has a solution, a substitute made out of surprising ingredients, industrial waste like ashes and CO2. We do have um, a patented process technology and that kind of comes in the form of a, a very large reactor. Um, essentially how it works is we put our solid feedstock into the, the vessel and then we pressurize that with CO2 and we rotate the, the vessel for um, a number of hours. Okay, let's go. Industrial waste like ashes and CO2. Hey, what's happening? In a chemical process, the CO2 molecules mineralize with the industrial ashes. It is as if the greenhouse gas fossilizes. A completely different material comes out and it can replace up to 40% of the cement. The production does not emit greenhouse gas. It absorbs it. In other words, the climate damaging greenhouse gas is trapped in the concrete. Madison, you want to build the future with the waste of today. We project that by 2030, we'll be able to achieve 600 megatons of carbon reduction. Good luck. <laughs> Using cement substitutes can't make the construction industry completely green, but it can at least make it a bit greener.